Heinrich, your reign of terror must end. You fool. You know as well as I that I cannot be destroyed. <laughs> Fates hold off the coming of the storm. Turn to Castle Wolfenstein immediately. Notify Herr Himmler. We found him. Ladies, gentlemen, and everyone in between, I'm Burning Dog Face. And I'd like to welcome you to Let's Play Return to Castle Wolfenstein. This game came out in the year 2001, and it's a first-person shooter, and depending on how you look at it, either the third or the fifth game in the Wolfenstein franchise. I haven't dipped my toe in this series in a very long time. And I'd say... I'm about overdue for a visit from the Allies' favorite son, B.J. Blazkowicz. <laughs> but before I jump in, I'd like to mention that this is going to be a blind LP. I stepped into the very first area in order to get a reading on the frame rate and audio levels, but other than that, everything we're about to see is going to be new to me. I'm going to play the game for the first time ever, and you guys get to come along for the ride. Here's hoping we all enjoy ourselves. Now without further ado... Let's play Return to Castle Wolfenstein. Don't hurt me, bring them on, and I am Death Incarnate. I give them props for, uh, you know, calling back to the old uh, difficulty levels, but for, you know, full score, the lowest difficulty level should have been, uh, Can I Play Daddy? Since that's what it was called in Wolfenstein 3D. Well, Jack, have we heard anything? Yes, sir. We've just received a coded transmission from Kessler, our contact in the Chrysal Circle. And? Both agents have been captured and are being held in Castle Wolfenstein. Damn. Call a meeting, Jack. Yes, sir. Right, gentlemen. Now let's go through it again by the numbers. What did we miss? Well, here's what we know. This is Castle Wolfenstein, located in the Hartz Mountains of northern Germany, property of Heinrich Himmler. Now, we've known of the existence of Castle Wolfenstein for some time, but we've only recently heard reports from our Kreisau Circle contacts in the German resistance regarding bizarre occult rituals taking place there. Now, these characters are part of Himmler's newly formed SS Paranormal Division, a small but elite group comprised of members possessing above-average IQs and backgrounds with the occult and or paranormal. 
The one in charge is this woman. Helga von Bulow. Our Chrysal contact in one of the villages below the castle has informed us that she and other members of the division have been recently deployed to the area. The Kraut with the monocle is one Wilhelm Strasse, also known as Death's Head, a brilliant and ruthless scientist who heads up Himmler's Special Projects Division. Special Projects? <laughs> Marvelously vague. Well, we know it encompasses all manner of advanced weapons research, including rocketry. It's also rumored to involve ultra-secret research into chemical and biological warfare. Charm. But at the moment, we don't know how it ties in with this massive archaeological dig near Castle Wolfenstein. So, advanced weapons, rocketry, chemical and biological research. Now, the occult. It still doesn't add up. Well, that's why we sent our boys in there. Jack, what are our options here? Well, we could send a backup team in behind them. Or? Or we sit tight and hope that they can find a way out. It's your call, sir. Well, looks like we play the waiting game. Mission 1, Ominous Rumors, Part 1, Escape. Orders are as follows. Infiltrate Castle Wolfenstein and investigate an increase in activity from SS Paranormal Division. Gather any intelligence information you may find regarding said SS Division and their activities in the area. Kessler, your contact, is a member of a German resistance group called the Kreisau Circle. He has managed to partially infiltrate the SS Paranormal Division's temporary headquarters, partially infiltrate? Is he living in the ceiling or something? And has valuable information regarding their activities. Meet Kessler in the village near the archaeological dig site. He will have further information regarding your mission. Remember, if you or Agent 1 are captured, escape at all costs. Standing Order Number 71 remains in effect. If you are placed in a compromising position where you might divulge information regarding your mission or the OSA, take your own life by ingesting your cyanide tablet. As always, the OSA will disavow any knowledge of your identity and mission if you are compromised. Good luck. Mission objectives? Escape the dungeon by any means necessary and locate the exit to the lower keep. Okay, right off the bat, before I even take a step, I would like to point out that this whole scenario right here is, uh, oh hey, Kilroy was here, was a uh, reference to the beginning of Wolfenstein 3D, because this is how that begins. With you in a cell, with an unlocked door, and a dead guard, with his knife, and his gun. i stick to the knife for them right now. I found this an interesting weapon as I was fucking around, because I discovered it's really, really fast. And it makes bullet holes. So that's neat. Every time I go down this corridor in testing, the frame rate drops. And 
there it goes. This only happens when I'm recording, so I assume it's a an interaction between my recording program and the game. You know, given that there should not be any frame rate drops in a 20-year-old game. I'm just throwing that out there. Well, I discovered you can do this. I guess that symbol at the bottom means you can wreck the thing you're looking at. Um... I also wanted to mention, before he got going, that if you go back and watch that opening cutscene, the guy who seemed to be in... Ch not the opening cutscene, the, uh... The in-engine one, with the mission briefing. Uh... The, the guy who seems to be in charge, the overweight balding man, is voiced by the late Tony J, who, uh... voiced quite a few uh, villains from my childhood. Though I will always remember him as uh, the voice of Megabyte from Reboot. How about this instead? Hmm? Interrogation report, March 17th, 1943. Subject unknown. Interrogator, Dr. Z. Very little information is divulged with the subject. He was subjected to 77% cur standard current before expiring. We did discover a cyanide tablet hidden in a compartment in the, of the subject's boot. This discovery leads us to believe that he and his accomplice are allied spies, although we may not have... We may have... We may have not determined at this time which agency... Oh, God damn it, the maze down here. Sorry, my brain just skipped a track for some reason. Maybe I'm having a stroke or something. Although we have not determined at this time which agency they may be working for. Thank you. I do believe that I will achieve better results from his accomplice. Subject time of death, 1535. Better results indeed, asshole. So my partner is dead, huh? Yep, confirmed. Just making sure, I'm just saying. That too. Well, that's just fucked up. I don't think there's anything in here. I don't know why you can come into this room. Oh. That guy is dead. Oh! Okay, so that one is a bit less solid snake and a bit more Jack the Ripper, but you know. I do, you noticed I backed off as I stabbed this man. That's because when I was testing here, I stabbed him, picked up his gun, and immediately switched to it. Which meant I fired a bullet into that wall, and, you know, things didn't go well. Actually, they did go well. I just didn't want to have all these guys rushing in. Oop. I guess it's going to happen anyway. Because I made an explosion. Yeah, that's alright. Everybody's a little dead sometimes. First I thought the frame rate drops might be because I was, uh... Uh, using a mod, actually. It, uh... Oh, neat. Actually, I will close that. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, it, don't worry, it doesn't, like, make give me laser vision or anything. It, uh, just allows the game to run in modern resolutions. Oh, right. Take that, valuable intel! Take that helpful direction sign. 
Can I stab that? That would be great. Fucking stab the newspaper. You feeling all right, Blazkowicz? Am I not the only person here whose brain is on the fritz? You weren't this aggressive in Wolfenstein. The, the game from 2009 that was just called Wolfenstein. But, uh, that's really saying something. To all watch personnel from Major, Major Jurgen, subject alert status. As you are all aware, the SS Paranormal Division has had tremendous success in their recent archaeological efforts near the village. However, Oberst Helga von Bulau is extremely displeased with the level of security at Castle Wolfenstein and the village near the excavation site. Is Oberst of, of, of name or of rank? Uh, I cannot stress how important this operation is to the Reich. Two spies are recently discovered attempting to infiltrate the castle. With this in mind, I caution you. Any breaches in security determined to be caused by watch personnel will be dealt with in the harshest manner possible. Regards, Major Wilhelm Jürgen, Security Officer, Castle Wolfenstein. Nice. Doesn't act tongue just mean attention? Well, F you too. Yeah, I get- I got that. The game is called Return to Castle Wolfenstein, but a bit confusingly, I believe- Oh, it's the notebook icon. Oh, wow. Oh, it does loops. Okay. Partisan contact named Kessler. All right. Hmm. You know, I'm not actually 100% convinced I am BJ Blazkowicz, because they didn't call me that. You know, I guess I'm just Agent 2 for the moment. But let's face it, it's probably BJ Blazkowicz. I understand that this game is something of a reboot. So, like, this is the first time that BJ Blazkowicz escaped from Castle Wolfenstein, as seen in Wolfenstein 3D. But, uh, that game had nothing to do with that guy from a thousand years ago. Nice! Ooh, grenades. Here they are. Oh, of course, they're tater mashers. Fine. I haven't taken any damage yet. I'm doing way better than I was in the testing. Did you know you can harm yourself on, uh... the lightning that comes out and you flick that switch? I discovered that in the last round of testing. I don't know what's in here. This is exciting to me. This is a big area, and rather open. I wouldn't call that secret, but okay. I don't know what those are for. I should have been paying more attention to... Oh! Shit. Should have been paying more attention. Oh, for... No! No more ammo here. Fine. I have to turn my mouse sensitivity down. I guess gamers in 2001 were twitchy, motherfuckers. Wait, I was a gamer in 2001. I shouldn't use that word. Oh shit. Is there? No. You're imagining it. Oh, that's not a good sound. Oh! 
shit, shit, shit. Huh, just noticed that. Oh, hell! Not the most dignified way for an officer to leave the world, but I don't care. Is this how I got in? No. Oh, I remember this room. I found this at one point. Just stumbled across here. Nice! And then... Ooh. I don't think I killed him or not. I, I was thinking to myself, I don't know if I killed him, and I can't tell if I killed him or not at the same time. Nope, I did not kill him. Shit. I must wreck all this equipment. Eat shit, typewriter. I did? Did I collect anything? Huh. I didn't even notice that the first time. I definitely didn't wreck that, I guess. Um. F5 again. And let's do a manual save while we're at it. Save as... Oh, shit. No, oh, it didn't take the space. That's weird. Uh, I'm Burning Dog Face, and I guess that'll do it for the first episode of Let's Play Return to Castle Wolfenstein. I'm gonna actually going to head back to that early area, because there was a bunch of health in there. And I'm not feeling too good right now. Hmm. I think the premiere has gone pretty well, so, uh, here's hoping things improve. Later!